Yeah, it's a male because it's tusk. Yeah. The, the females and the babies are in a different enclosure. You want to go through them? Okay, come on. But he's got tusks, so that's how you know it's a male. Look, they're going to get in now. Hi everyone, welcome to our elephant chat. So out in this yard currently we have Baylor and Duncan. He's probably going to take a swim for us. Uh, Bob for some apples. So elephants are actually, you know, elephants are actually very good swimmers, believe it or not. They're very buoyant, so um, they are semi-aquatic and you're going to be able to see a little bit here. These guys will go in the pool on their own as well. Weirdly, their favorite time to go in the pool is usually when it's raining, like when you guys are getting your kids out of the pool because they shouldn't be in the storm. These guys think it's usually the most fun time to be in the water. Um, but they will go in the water in the wild as well. And the Houston Zoo only has Asian elephants. Uh, some differences between Asian elephants and African elephants, since Baylor's right here and he can show you guys up close and personal some differences. If you look at Baylor's trunk, at the very, very tip of his trunk, he has at the very top um, a finger-like looking digit at the top and then a palm looking thing at the bottom. Um, and so they, as a prehensile, so they're able to kind of maneuver those up and they can pick up something as small as even a piece of grass or a blade of grass. Um, and so, and African elephants, the, uh, they were going to have a finger-like digit on the top and on the bottom. So they use that more He's for excited. cutting leaves out of trees. Um, so then at the, their skull is a little bit different. African elephants have one dome on the top of their head. And you can look at Baylor and Duncan. They have two domes that make up their skull. And then their ears are a little bit different. Um, so the Asian elephants have a more floppy, smaller ear. African elephants have more of a rigid, and they're really, really big ears. Whoa. And they actually look the shape of Africa. They're pretty cool. Um, and then, just to confuse everybody, I usually think any elephant with tusk is a male, and any elephant uh, without tusk is a female. And that is true for Asian elephants. For African elephants, both males and females are going to get tusks. So sometimes these guys will Listening. kind of rest their them, but also these guys are pretty good. She has a mic. Kind of See, she has a mic. Kind of as well. The one in the very middle is Baylor, and then the one over on the side, Duncan. These guys are actually full brothers, so they have the same mom and dad. Their mom is Shawnee, and their dad is Thailand. Thailand is our oldest elephant here at the Houston Zoo. Um, and he is probably one of the tallest Asian elephants in captivity. He's not necessarily the biggest and the heaviest, but he's definitely one of the taller Asian elephants. He is the father of most of our young babies here at the Houston Zoo. Um, all of them except for Winnie. But anyone that's about Baylor's age and younger, those are all Thailand calves. So he is a... Baylor, you want to wave? We have the calves. Aww. Duncan. Look, they're waving. Do you so see it? All of our elephants here at the they're waving with their trunks. Activity are trained. Um, yeah, it's cool to see them do different cool, cute behaviors, but most of their behaviors are for husbandry purposes. So the wave, that one's just cute. That has nothing else to do other than we can see that their trunk works, right? But they will open their mouths so we can see their teeth. They'll put their feet up so we can look at the bottom of their feet. Because every single day, throughout the entire day, here and even night keepers that kind of come through and check on them from their trunk tip to their tail we're checking every aspect of that elephant to make sure that they're healthy that's our to make sure that these guys are um the healthy they can be so when they open their mouth we can look at their teeth make sure everything's okay and then when they put their feet up we want to make sure they don't have anything stuck in their feet or anything like that uh, and then when they're doing behaviors and things 
if they maybe don't want to do something that day and it's not normal for them, that's kind of our way to see if they're feeling okay. So then these guys are actually trained to voluntarily come over and get blood drawn from their ears. And they do love it, believe it or not, because they usually receive a melon after their blood drawn. Um, so it would positively reinforce them and they usually will run right over if their blood drawn. Uh, I would definitely be more receptive to drawing blood if I got snacked afterwards for sure. But, um, so these guys usually, because they're super, super smart, they usually catch on very, very quickly that if they do a behavior and they get food after that, they, they learn that if I keep doing that, I'll get food. Every There's time. rocks in there so as well. Learning new behavior is like preventing their foot. They're usually like, here's my foot, here's my foot, even if you're not asking them, because they're like, I usually get food after this. Um, but even at a young age of like Teddy and Winnie over there, they start to eat solids and realize that humans are people that have to really good food. These guys will come over and walk the train because they're super, super smart and they enjoy that. And it's good for them. So they, uh, it helps to kind of stimulate their brain and stuff like that. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm over on the side. If you guys have any specific questions, feel free to come on over and I will try to answer those questions for you. Um, as for their coloration, um, you can notice Baylor is a little bit more pink in the face than what Duncan. About? So that's something in Asian elephants as they get a little older and as they uh, start to get kind of about Baylor's age and uh, like I guess around yeah. even Duncan's age, you'll see you yeah. to get some. Um, they'll kind of get that loss of pigmentation and they'll have that more pink coloration to them. So when you see yeah. an Asian yeah. elephant, you're kind of wondering, yeah. male and female um, are going to be the pinkest, are going to be like their faces and their trunk and their shoulders and their ears. Uh, the pinker elephants are going to be your older elephants for, for the most part. It does have to do with genetics as well. So just like with us and our hair color, some of them age a little bit differently as well. Do you guys have questions yet? Other than these guys are just giving you a fun show. Hey, 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 um, why is there rocks in the pool? Uh, uh, <laughs> it definitely looks like floating rocks, though, don't we? These guys don't really have any rules like we do in the pools. They can do whatever they want. Cool, well, they right? pooped in the water. So this pool is actually really cool because we have a pool filter system uh, that will constantly filter this water through. Uh, so even though they do the disgusting stuff in the pool, we do it gets cleaned on a consistent, consistent basis. Do you guys have any other questions? You're going to laugh. I will. So these guys, elephants in general, have a lot going against them. So one of the cool parts of having elephants in captivity is we have a breeding program that if we were to lose every single wild elephant in the wild tomorrow, uh, we can bring back a species without breeding or anything like that. We would have a very healthy... Um, a population. So that is one of the things that breeding with this captivity allows us to have. Um, so some cool things are just adding those different genetics. It's kind of, there's someone's job out there is basically to figure out who should breed with who. So it's basically like a matchmaking game just for elephants. But these guys in the wild do have a lot of things that go against them. So these guys are huge and they're smart. So they realize that if they go into villages and they go through people's crops and they take and don't ask, it's, it's really good food and it's not a problem for them. But it is a problem for those people that live in those villages and that's their way of living, right? Um, so, there's a lot of times that those villagers just want to kill an elephant to get rid of the problem. And that is one of the major issues is that human-elephant conflict is that if an elephant's coming in and taking a cross, I'll just take care of it myself. And these guys, um, and so there's things such as like corridors that are out in the wild that these elephants will follow those corridors instead of going towards those villages and then hope that we will kind of deter those elephants away from the people. Um, as well as just educating people on how we, how you can keep those elephants kind of out of your villages and things like that. The elephants here at the Houston Zoo have been raised in, around these pools, confident swimmers. Um, Tucker isn't necessarily their best swimmer, but he definitely loves being in the pool. But as of right now, he's just going to enjoy sitting out there eating his hay. Do you guys have any questions? Like to do? Come over and say a little bit more. I can hear you. Okay, we need to get going so we can get Aubrey on time. 
Um, this, hold on, this girl wants to ask her a question. She asked, what do elephants like to do? So Duncan in the middle there is going to show you the number one thing elephants like to do, and it's very similar to myself. Um, they love to eat. So these guys, the way to an elephant's heart is definitely through their food. Um, so that's why they're so easy to train. They're super, super smart, and they're super food motivated. So these guys in the wild, what they're going to do is they're roaming around. A lot of people think elephants just travel long distance for fun. That's not true at all. They definitely are traveling for water and food. There's no, like, I just walk for fun situation. These guys are going, um, moving around, trying to find their next food source, for sure. And definitely even, like, in Africa, they're definitely looking for their next water water source. So they're moving to, in a drop, and they're moving to might be water. Um, and so walking around like these guys are doing right now is one of their number one things, and then eating and snacking. So these guys are going to browse throughout the whole day. We don't feed our elephants just one time a day. Even if you look right straight forward, you see this tree that's a uh, cool.